How's it going everybody? If you guys are new to my channel, I 3D print my own fishing lures and then post the files for free so you guys can make them yourselves. Now if you couldn't guess already based off the intro, today we're making a beaver creature, whatever they're called, bait. Recommended by East Sliders, one of my subscribers. That's a good rhyme there. So these things go by a bunch of different names. It's, uh, I don't really know why they're called beaver tails. I guess they sort of look like a beaver tail if you're on drugs maybe. On a side note, if you want to see a certain lure made, just post a comment down below and I'll make it. So I've never used one of these beaver creature things before. I mean, I got a bunch from those mystery tackle box bags, but I've never actually tried one. But it seems like a pretty decent craw imitation, so it should work. It was really easy to make. I just sculpted out the body in Fusion 360 and then cut the ribs out of it. I added on the appendage uh, things and threw it in a mold box. If you guys are interested in making this for yourself, the files will be in the description for free, of course, as usual, with any of the lures I make on this channel. And if you're new to using my lures, these are soft plastic injection molds that can be printed on either an FDM or a resin printer. For this mold specifically, I printed it on my Ender 6 with an off-brand Chinese filament that's actually very good. It's a half petchy, half polycarbonate blend, and it's only 24 bucks a roll. I really can't complain. It's been awesome. I will be posting a link to that filament in the description below. And without further delay, let's get into shooting this mold. So we have our new beaver creature thingy mold as per request. So like I said before, I've never used these things. So we're just going to go with our watermelon color first. I'm not really sure what colors we're going to use, but we're going to wing it. All right, we are at a solid 320-ish degrees. A little warm, but we're testing out this new plastic. So we got to see how it handles. We'll draw it in for our injector and see how this goes. You guys did notice I didn't use all the bolts. I went a little overkill on the amount of bolts, I think. So if you guys need more when you make this, you can always add on to it. Good to me. And we'll top off our sprue. And I'll see you guys when we are ready to demold. All right, so it's grand reveal time. I can see from the beginning, the mold did go through the vents a little bit or the plastic leaked out the vents a little bit. Not too concerned about that. This mold is a bit warped. I'm not printing this in an enclosure. This is open air with this new plastic. I'm gonna work on that in the future. Considering this is a $4 mold and to get an aluminum one like this, it's probably like 80, 90 bucks. I'm not gonna complain too much. So let's crack this open and see how it came out. I'm gonna go slow. Alright, looks pretty good. Let me uh, pick these legs apart and I'll show you how it looks. This is how it came out. The legs are kind of stuck together so it's a little hard to see. Sorry about that. But once I get some scent on these or some worm oil, they won't stick together. This is injected with the super soft plastic. My thing is, since I make my own, the softer plastic adds a lot more action to it at the cost of durability. But since these cost me pennies to make, I don't really care how long they last. So this is how this looks all done. And I'm going to go dig through my box of mysteries and find another color to inject. So I found this, um, it's like black with the fluorescent purple in it. We're going to try that and see how it comes out. This is a little bit harder too. All right, we're going to shoot our black and purple now. This is a little, uh, decent bit lower, like 293, 292. And we'll give this a whirl. Put up our injector. And we're good to go. We'll top this off. And that's good to go. So the most important part about our last test with the watermelon color is this mold did not warp. Well, it was warped in the print that, but it didn't warp from injecting. There was no heat cracking, no cracks whatsoever, no warping, no denting, no issues with that, no melting. So I will be posting a link to this filament down below. This was printed on my Ender 6 with no enclosure. I also printed it on my Ender 3 with no enclosure if you guys want to try this out. 
and it's only 24 bucks a roll which is pretty cool so i'll see you guys when this is done and we'll go from there so it's demold time let's see how this came out Same thing, not bad, not bad. I'll pull these apart. That's how our blue color works. Came out pretty good, no complaints there. So for a final color of this video, I like to do these in this set of three. We're gonna be going with some chartreuse. I don't really have any more colors to try out right now. And chartreuse works for striped bass, so why not regular bass? We'll give it a shot. You guys can always try these in any colors you want. And I'll see you when we're ready to inject. It should be a temp now. It says 272. It's hotter than that. That's that's wrong. It's a liar. We'll shoot this and see how it goes. I think that's long enough. We'll top off the sprue. All right, so we'll crack shot number three open now. And that's how it looks. This is our chartreuse version. Should work nicely. That's how our beaver creature came out. Now this was a viewer suggested video. So if you guys want to see me make something special, leave a comment down below. So that's it for this lure. Now you guys could just click away from this video now, or you could watch one of my other videos and get another awesome free lure. Thank you for watching.